Alright guys, this is a very interesting review for me today. Um, if you look right there, cotton bacon. Okay. I have regular cotton bacon. The original. And the new released cotton bacon V2. Now, the difference from what I'm told is if anyone has used cotton bacon, I mean, I have, I love it. Uh, normally, after you just freshly wick, you don't, you get like this weird taste with most cottons. This one has a very minor taste to it, and it's gone within the first two uh, drippings. It's so easy to work with. You do not need scissors, which is, if you're on the go vapor like I am, you burn your cotton on accident or unfortunately if you auto fly or you know anything like that or if you're going to a like expo or a shop and you want to try a bunch of uh, juice this is the original just opened and I mean they boil it and then bleach it boil it and bleach it and then like they end it with a boiling there's no smell to it. It's so soft and like pliable. Let's try to get some. Oops. Now you saw how easy that just like comes off, and you could take. Basically, it's if you used to dip or something like that. I'm going to use a reference for that. You just pinch and go. Pinch and go. That's all you do. Have a little pinch and go. So that's the V1. And now open it up the V2. And maybe if I can actually do it right. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Okay. V1 bag. Easier to open. Apparently the V2 bag doesn't want to open. Son of a... There we are. Eureka. I got it. Alright. Ooh, wow. Okay. Comes off so much easier. Perfect. Look at that. That's V2. Alright. So we got... Now the V1 had a smell. V2 does not have a smell. So, so far... V2, you're... Winning on that part. Now I have two identical builds on basically the same exact mod. They're both Manhattans and they're both running Dark Horses. Um, I have 22 gauge, 5 wraps, and they're duels. I'm running at a .16. And there goes the phone again. Alrighty. I just don't know why you didn't close that up yet. Alright. Now normally you need like a whole entire setup, you know, scissors and everything else. I am gonna grab my tweezers, but when I used to use, if I didn't have anything, um, when it came to the cotton bacon V1, actually all I ever did was I used my keys. Any key will do. Just use your key and sit there and you bend it in, go to town. It doesn't take long. All right, so two Manhattans. We got two dark horses. Can't really see the logo. Same identical point one six builds on twenty two gauge Kenthal. Now before I go ahead and. I'm going to get rid of all the wick, wicking that's in it. One thing with the V1 that I've noticed when I tried it before, it deteriorated at a higher heat. So for cloud chasers, it wasn't really great for cloud chasing. It 
broke away too fast. It had a very low breaking point, whatever you want to call it. Okay. That one's going to be for the V1. And Now my camera is mounted on my laptop, so I'm going to try to get this down enough to where you can see how easy and how convenient this cotton bacon is. Okay. It smells so good. I'm used to the head on this. All right. Let's see if this works. Okay. Both mods. We got the B1, B2. Let's see if I can get that a little bit centered there for you guys. Sorry. Alrighty. So, V1. I have a, what is that, uh, a 2.4 millimeter, so, normally a little pinch like that, not too thick, but if you go in the actual, the full length of the cotton itself, should be enough to go ahead and wake both sides, so, once you have that, find the halfway mark, like so, and rip off. Very easy, very quick. Let's sit here, roll that tip. Put it in, no problem. If you want to pinch off a little bit, Once you've rolled it, oh, there goes my line. Once you've rolled it, it does get a little on the tight side, but I found a spot that wasn't rolled. Works real easy. Let's do the other side real quick. Now, I am going to stress test these. I'm just going to dry, uh, not dry burn them, but I'm going to put some juice on them. And then as soon as I'm all vaping, let you know. Then I'm going to stress test them. And I want to do, like I said, side-by-side side side comparison on this. See which one. A little bit shorter, there we go. See which one breaks down. You know, to be honest, it's one of those things that every, all cottons do. But um, the V1, cotton bacon V1, I've seen, has the issue a little bit worse. When it comes to at least cloud chasing. But I love the... It, there's so many cottons out there, and honestly, this is one of my favorites. For cloud cups, I normally use rayon, but that aftertaste and begin taste and all around the first four drippings that you put on there taste horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, this one is done. I'm going to set it off to the side here so I don't auto fire or dry fire it on the. Um, fresh cotton. Now the V2. And this one feels so much more like a, like a soft pillow. It's just so dense. But then yet, should be good right there. See how easy that just comes right off? I think I might have gotten up too much on that. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that big thick piece that I just ripped off go right down the middle. And that should be perfect, actually. There we go. Good thing is, you stick it right back on there, and it kind of just blends right back in. So this one's not as pretty as the other one, or as the V1. But, go ahead again. By the middle, snaps right off. And it's still sticky from the juice. The juice. 
we'll go to. This is a little bit of a tighter fit, so that's actually good. Could have picked a little bit thicker of a one on the V1. Not too much of a difference. Okay, definitely have too much width in the back. So again, I do have a battery in there. I'm setting it down. Flip off. Again. It's doing it too, so if you have it rolled, just, um, I fluffed it out, this is what, this side that I put in, fluff it out, it should, yep, rips right off, as soon as you fluff it out, and this one, gonna fluff it out too, there we go, it's fluffed, grab the amount that you need, remove, Grab and go. And I think that's going to be about right. So, this one's definitely be a little more stuffed in there. <laughs> Alrighty. So there we go. The one side. One thing that sucks about vaping, I'm sure any other OCD vapors out there would agree. Having OCD, making your own coils, becomes a pain in the ass. So when you come up with, you know, simple stuff like this, and it looks, you know, nice and clean, it works. Pop bacon too. All right. V1, V2. Head to head. I'm gonna do the V1 first. Um, what juice should I use? <coughs> you know what? I'm going to get my two favorite cereals. <clears throat> my cereal assassin from Smoke is Dead. And the cereal vapus code 187 from TKO. My two favorite ones. So on the V1, goes cereal assassin from Smoke is Dead. Do -do 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 -do. And saturated seems to be holding the juice real well. All right, it looks to be nice and saturated. A little bit of <clears throat> an overdrip. Great. Now I'm losing my voice. Seems to be holding the juice real well. Okay. Very, very minimal, but you still get that cotton. The start, the fresh cotton uh, taste. I'll set that over there on my magnetic cold jet. And now. Uh, for the V2 cotton. Let's see how this one holds up against it. Seems like the V2 does soak it up a little bit better too. Now, one thing I've noticed already, the V1 cotton doesn't have anywhere near as strong as a fresh cotton taste. Now, the V2 does. That does have a, it's not really bitter, it's not rayon status or, you know, stuff like that. 
but does have a strong taste. The V2 does. But it's slowly going away. Now, it may be because they had to do something different in their uh, making of the cotton process. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't say anything in particular. But I'm going to assume that they changed something in it. Like the process that they'd use to make this stuff. Because it, again, it is denser. It does hold a little bit more juice, to be quite frank. Um, but it, just, it does have that stronger flavor. So, I'd say just overall working with the product, I'm going to say V2 is easier to work with just because it is a little bit denser. It's not as fluffy. So, it doesn't like break apart as easy. Well, fall apart, I should say. It's easy tearing. It is easy to work with. You still don't need scissors or I didn't even really need my tweezers. I'm home, so I might as well use them. Um... The initial fresh wicked, fresh juiced, and taste wise, V1 has to be two on that. Um, obviously, it doesn't really have anything to do with cotton from what I understand, but for vapor production, that's all in the build and the juice. And now for the stress test. Let's see. I'm going to catch them on fire and see what happens. B one first. Get it nice and hot. Cloud chasing status. There goes my hot spot. And there's the fire. All right. Now normally once it does that with the cotton bacon, I've noticed it just, it breaks away right inside here. And I can already tell it's breaking down. If I smush it down a little bit, I can actually see through it. Burnt a little bit, some of the fibers are coming off. But it's still connected, so it's... Yeah, it almost melted away in the heat. See, you start seeing that it's coming really dinky and just deteriorates really fast. And yeah, I know, at the high heat that I'm putting it at, it isn't, you're not going to sit there and everyone's going to do it. But it is. The other side, I'll check out here in a second. looks of it if you do have it thicker it holds up just a tad bit longer but it's still nonetheless breaking apart and it just becomes nothing so we'll drop that out so that's to be one yeah it just fell apart Fix my clothes real quick, sorry. Perfect. It can cool down. So we can get this dry a little bit faster.
Try. She's dry. I smell burnt cotton, but so far I'm not getting any flashpoint. I'm just cooking the cotton. There it goes. So I got a flashpoint. I will. I, I like the V2 on that aspect. Um, I feel like most of my cotton is basically completely dry. Ow! Don't touch coils. They're hot. It's hard to tell on the camera, but if you look slightly, you, eh, you can't really tell, but the cotton is almost perfectly dry all the way through. And I'm, I could tell <laughs> I did burn the cotton. It, it waits to get completely dry, so you can sit there and vape till it's completely dry, and that's what you're gonna get. One half already, the other side ripped off, but it burns a little bit, and then just falls off. So the deterioration, I'm gonna say, yeah, it is. Pretty damn dry. Yeah. No wet mark, wet mark at all. Cotton I just took out. Squeeze it a little bit. See about that. So before this deteriorates, wow. Before it deteriorates and burns off. Throw it away. That whole entire wicking. Just left that little bit of juice. So before the flash point on this cotton, from what I'm already seeing, is that it actually makes it, it'll go until it's dry. So the absorbency in the V2 is a lot better because the V1 was still wet, even though it burnt and snapped right when the coils were or inside the coil. That's why I was getting the hot spots. Um, so I. Hands down, V2, the only thing, the only downfall for V2 is that the start, uh, as soon as you start the wick, <laughs> and the first juice, I couldn't tell you if more if I juiced it a second or third or fourth time, if the flavor was still there. It is the worst part about the V2, is that initial flavor that you get from the cotton. But... I'm going to say overall, you can't go wrong with that V2. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of the uh, brands, but if you want something that's going to hold up, have a little bit more dexterity, um, the overall strength for your flavor chasers, V1. I can do it that way. Go for the V1, the original cotton bacon. For a flavor chaser and for the cloud chasers, V2 all the way. Um, it's so dense. If you do get a dry hit, it wasn't, you know, a really nasty one for me. It was, I, I was telling or noticing that it was starting to go dry. I was still able to hit it. <clears throat> right as it was starting to get too dry and more warm, um, I, I noticed it was still a little wet but I was still getting the flavor from my juice. Um, I like both of them. It's, you know, they're both really nice, but for flavor, I'd go with myself V1, and for the cloud chasing, or just having good, stronger uh, wick, V2 all the way. Now, do I like the cotton bacon better than 
wicked wicks or the organic cotton or cotton balls, Japanese cotton, whatever. Yes. So much easier to work with. It is not expensive. It's you can get most places, most shops will have ten big old pieces of cotton bacon. I mean look how big this bag is. It's good size. Okay. And I have a big head. So you get ten pieces. Um, I would say maybe maybe five, maybe six inches long. Each sheet is going to be about an inch and a half, it looks like, um, wide. So you got an inch and a half this way, and then the length, you're going to have about five to six inches. Um, that's both of them. And most shops will sell the V1 for five bucks. I don't know if anyone has the V2 yet. <clears throat> Good thing about ECC, you get a lot of new release, uh, unreleased stuff, or just released. So, yeah, I hands down, my favorite is the V2, but I'm a cloud chaser. I do like good flavors, but you get me a, a good cloud comp build and some good juice, three nick, no bite, great flavor. And you have yourself one happy cloud chaser. Well, on that note, as I put these away, I will say this. Go out. Find them. I know they're really easy. Uh, you can even go to the website for cotton bacon. And uh, I will, I will have all, any information of any of my wholesales, I'm gonna put their website down. And again, subscribe to my channel. Give Cotton Bacon a try if you haven't already. Um, and if you have tried it, and you've noticed the same thing with the deterioration and it just falling apart the longer you vape it, definitely go ahead and pick up the V2. That's what it looks like. So if anyone says it's V2 and it doesn't look like that, and they're selling you the original. Alright guys. So. As I always say. Vape on. And I'm going to start saying it. Vape on and vape safe. Because there's too many people. Doing stupid stuff. So. Vape on and vape safe.